I'm going to be doing my May TBR, which I'm very excited for. I went through a little bit of like a reading slump and then a like slow reading period because I had a lot going on with moving and going on vacation and um, just all this stuff and on top of that my business has just started taking off so I've been slammed with orders from Etsy so um, I haven't been able to read as much as I want to but I think this month is going to be different I managed to read like three books in the last week so I'm hoping or four books, four books in the last week. So I'm hoping that I can really um, buckle down and get some read this month. The kids get out of school in like two weeks, so I'll have a little bit of extra time. I won't be like running back and forth with, because with Myla, I have to take Myla to a different school and Bentley to a different school. So I'm making trips like four times a day. It's just ridiculous. So yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and get started with this TBR. <laughs> okay, so the first book I don't actually have yet. I will have it tomorrow, and that is, of course, A Court of Wings and Ruin, which I'm super excited for. I really loved the first book. I liked the second book, but I think the third book is going to be where it's at. So I'm very excited for that, and I'm also going to be doing reading that for my new booktube book club that I'm doing with Cherry Walker. So if you guys are interested in that, check out my announcement video and it'll tell you all about what we're doing with that and if you want to join and it'll be great. You should join. You should do it with us. It'll be fun. We'll do it. It'll be great. Let's do it. Anyway, okay, so the next book that um, I want to read this month is is one that I actually want to finish and that is Long May She Rain by Rhiannon Thomas. And this one I started last month and I read about 60 pages, but I also started Hunted at the same time and Hunted really just pulled me in like a lot. So I just went ahead and finished Hunted and didn't continue with this one, but this one's really good too. It just wasn't as good as Hunted in the beginning. So. I think this is going to be a really great story, so I definitely want to finish it. So I don't know, I might be reading a couple books all at one time, we'll see how it goes. I don't generally like doing that, but there's so many books that I want to read like right this second that I'm in the mood, like I'm definitely a mood reader, so I have to be in the mood, and right now I'm in the mood for a lot of these books. I don't want to get out of, out of that mood. Okay, so the next book that I'm going to be reading this month is one that I'm going to be buddy reading. I have a couple books I'm going to be buddy reading this month. And um, <clears throat> so the one that I'm going to be buddy reading this month is Fingersmith by Sarah Waters. And I'm going to be buddy reading this with Jasmine over at Novel Thoughts. So this one is a historical fiction about a girl who is orphaned and she ends up being raised by thieves and one day she's approached by this man who wants to basically have her pretend to be a maid to get information about this wealthy woman so that he can marry her and then they can he can kill her or get rid of her or dispose her it's or put her in a mental institution or something like that i thought i read i don't remember exactly but Anyway, so they're going to get rid of her somehow, and then they're going to split her wealth amongst them. And I thought that sounded really interesting. I've never read anything by Sarah Waters, but Jasmine mentioned this book, and I thought it sounded really cool. So we are going to buddy read it together this month. And I believe she said she already started it, and she just and it started out really great, and she just really wants to finish it. So we are going to buddy read it, and it's going to be great. <sighs> The next book that I'm planning on buddying read is... Uh, buddying read. <sighs> the next book that I'm planning on reading with a buddy is volume one and two of The Vision graphic novel. And I'm going to be buddy reading these with Elliot over at Elliot Brooks, which I love buddy reading with her. She's one of my favorite people that I've buddy read with and one of the only, anyway, 
so far. And um, I get my weird moods. And right now I'm in a weird mood. So this one is about the vision. And he decides that he wants to be more human. So he basically creates a family and he moves to the suburbs. And it's all about that. Now, Elliot did say that it was her husband read it. And it was really good. But it was also really sad, so I'm not really looking forward to the sad part of this. But I am looking forward to reading a, another graphic novel. I've read a couple graphic novels and really enjoyed them. Well, I've really enjoyed Saga, or Saga, Saga, blah, blah, blah. And I've really, and, and, and The Wicked End of the Divine was alright, but um, I think the second one will be good, but I still haven't picked it up yet because I don't really care for the first. Anyway, okay, so yeah. I'm really excited about these. I think it's going to be fun to read these very quick reads. And speaking of graphic novels, I'm also planning on reading Sega Volume 6 this month. And I'll probably get around to Volume 7 too, but I thought my TBR was getting a little bit too crazy. So I didn't include it in this month's TBR. So we'll see. If I have enough time to read it, I am going to be reading a 700 page book. So if I have time, I will be reading the 7th, but for now, I'm just going to stick with the 6th. If you haven't checked out this series yet, you've probably heard me talk about it a lot, and this is one of my favorites of all time. Not that I've read a lot of graphic novels, but I love it. It's one of my favorites that I've read this year and last year series, whether it be graphic novels or regular books. and. I love this. They're funny, they're dramatic, they, they're the whole package. They give me all sorts of the feels. All sorts of feels. All sorts. In the um, artwork, too. I can't forget to mention it because it's amazing. The last book that I plan on reading this month is The Whole Thing Together by Anne Brashars. And, um... I really love Anne Brashard's writing. I've read two books by her. She is the writer of the Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants series. Now, I didn't read that series, but I read her other books. Uh, My Name is Memory and The Here and Now, I believe it's called. And they were amazing. Some of my favorite books of all time. So I'm really excited to read this. It's not a very long read, so I thought I could include it in here. I don't want to be stressful. But anyway, it's about this family. My dog. No! Okay. So it's about one of the main character's parents married the other main character's parents and then their parents had three other kids and together they all went to this beach house together and then the parents decide to get divorced and then they end up going back to the beach house and try to salvage some memories and I don't know if they're trying to get their parents back together or what but Amber Shars has this really cool way of incorporating the magic of some sort or like a fan to see kind of element in her book. So I'm curious to see if this has that in it. Even Sister of the Traveling Pants had that magical element with the pants. So, and then the other two books were definitely fantasy awesomeness. So I'm really excited to read this. Even if it's just a plain contemporary book, I'm sure it's amazing too. So, yeah. Okay, so that is it for this video. I was probably a little weirder than I normally am. I'm just in one of those moods. I get in these moods. My husband's always like, oh, you're in a weird mood. You must be tired or hungry or something. So, that's what I'm doing right now. I hope it's not weird. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe if you're not already. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.